Okay, so uh, I'm going to show you um, what happens in a controlled chain reaction. Uh, previously, we've seen how a single uh, neutron, um, moving nice and slowly, can actually cause a big uranium-235 nucleus uh, to become unstable, uh, so that it splits up into two daughter nucleuses, uh, we should say nuclei, um, and when these uranium nucleuses split up, they release a lot of energy. This energy is kind of stored uh, inside the nucleus, and that's the energy that we uh, we, we want to use in power stations. Uh, but also, uh, this reaction can be a chain reaction. And what do we mean by that? We mean that um, the reaction itself uh, causes some things which can also cause fission reactions um, in nearby nucleuses. And the three things uh, which can do that are these three neutrons here. Um, these three neutrons can go off and they can cause a fission reaction uh, of their own, just like this one over here did originally. And so can this one. This one can go off and cause uh, a fission reaction. And, and so can this one here. So we've got all the ingredients for a chain reaction as long as there are enough of these uranium-235 nucleuses, nuclei, um, in uh, the nearby um, vicinity. Now, in order for a chain reaction to be controlled in a nuclear power station, uh, we need to do something about these neutrons. So let's have uh, a little look at um, a controlled chain reaction. And just as before, um, as we move from left to right on, on this screen, uh, time goes on this way. So here we've got essentially the same picture as before. Uh, so that's the same thing that we've just been looking at. Okay, And that's one fission. Okay, This is another fission uh, in the middle here. So that's a second stage in our chain reaction, and the third stage in our chain reaction would be this over here. So we've got three stages in our chain reaction shown here. And what I want to show you is basically what you have to do if you want to make sure that uh, a chain reaction doesn't get out of control and uh, we release the energy a little bit at a time in a way that's useful to us and we don't make a huge explosion where all of the nuclei um, which are able to undergo fission um, suddenly do it all at once. And it's remarkably simple. What we have to focus in on okay, is what happens after things have split up. And after this split, we've got to take care of one, two, three nucleuses. Now we want the chain reaction to continue, so we actually want one of these to go on and cause the next fission reaction here. But two of these what we need to do is get rid of them. So the way we do that is actually by introducing something into um, the place where the uranium fuel is, or near where the fuel is, uh, which uh, catches or absorbs these individual neutrons. And we want to absorb these, so uh, I'll just colour these out so it makes sense. And if we manage to absorb two out of the three neutrons, Okay, so if we absorb, and that's the word that you want to use in an exam, we absorb two out of the three neutrons. It means the chain reaction can still go on, but only uh, one reaction can be caused by the previous reaction. Whereas if we didn't control it, three reactions could be caused by one reaction. And that's essentially what we do. We simply absorb two out of three of these uh, neutrons at each stage. So we want to get rid of that one and then that one. And this is what is meant when we use the word controlling a chain reaction. And that's all it means. Now, how this actually happens um, in, in nature, um, well, well, it doesn't really happen very much in nature, um, but in nuclear power stations, how it happens is we actually uh, introduce a single, uh, I, I, I guess you'd call it sort of a, 
a sort of control rod. Okay, and these are the things which we have inside where the fuel is in a nuclear power station, and and they basically act like a a huge sort of uh, which is supposed to be a hand, uh, huge hand, and they catch the individual uh, proton uh, neutrons as they come out of the fission reaction, and that's how uh, we absorb the extra neutrons, which if we didn't would lead to an uncontrolled chain reaction, but of course if we are catching them uh, like we are here, then they are absorbed and uh, it's a controlled reaction. And this has uh, a great benefit because it basically means that the uh, uranium-235 uh, fuel that we're using, uh, it lasts uh, for many years rather than going off in a fraction of a second, okay? And it also means we get a steady uh, release uh, of energy, rather than all of the energy coming out in a fraction of a second and being in a mighty explosion. Um, and so these are the reasons uh, why we have to control this chain reaction if we want to get a steady release of energy for our power stations, which lasts years.